Peru News Today All You Need to Know About to Peru Special Report What Were the Last Years of Pedro Suarez Vertiz's Life Like? The death of Pedro Suarez Vertiz shocked thousands of his closest fans and friends. Edward Malaga, current congressman of the Republic for the Purple Party, shared several years of his childhood with the musician, with whom he studied at a school in Lima. For this reason, the parliamentarian, who is a neurobiologist by profession, was always close to the composer. Furthermore, he confessed that he was the person who recommended that he go see the neurologist when the first symptoms of amyotrophic lateral sclerosis appeared. One or two years before he was diagnosed, his illness, I had come to visit, because I lived abroad, but I felt a little discomfort when he spoke, so I told him that it seemed like it was a motor disorder, so I told him. I recommended that he go see the neurologist, he said. Finally, what we learned is that he had amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, known as ALS. What this disease does is weaken the neurons that control your voluntary movements, it can affect your extremities or your head, in his case it was the head first, that is why he lost the movement of his face. Loss of mobility At the beginning, Pedro Suarez Vertis only lost the mobility of some muscles in his head, something that prevented me from continuing to pursue his career as a musician. However, he knew that over time he would lose various motor functions in his body. So as the years went by, about eight, his limbs began to fail. Over time it spread to his extremities, with time I mean about eight or seven years, it has been almost 15 since he was diagnosed with ALS. It has been a gradual process that has allowed those of us who were close to get used to it. Pedro gradually lost his speech, but after losing his speech, he still continued doing his usual things, driving and writing on the phone, he said. Unfortunately, the disease continued to advance, so in the last year and a half he was only lying in a bed, carrying out different activities despite the condition in which he was. Over time he began to weaken and lost control of his limbs. In the last year and a half it became more serious, he was already bedridden and the situation was very difficult. The people who read his column could not imagine that behind all that there was a patient having a bad time. He used a tablet to communicate. Edward Malaga revealed that Pedro Suarez Vertis never gave up, since being a person who believed in God, he completely accepted that this would be his destiny and that he would live that way until his last day of life, therefore, he never he gave up and continued doing his activities through a tablet that had eye recognition. His way of writing was through an eye recognition tablet, what he did was fix the word on a letter and that's how he started writing. He lived in a special world, he was isolated in a body that no longer responded to him. Here what must be highlighted is humanity and courage, because a person who finds himself in that situation is prey to panic, anguish, anxiety, he indicated. Despite his difficulty in communicating, Pedro always made jokes with you, he had not lost his essence. He was a great believer in God, in his family, he believed that his destiny had to be accepted and that faith allowed him to prevail. Leave us your comment and subscribe to continue growing and follow us on our social networks, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram and TikTok. Peru News Today, follow us on Facebook and Instagram.